Voila! I have my lead boards, port and starboard. I'm going to show you how I build a lead board system for my canoe and how you can take these ideas and build your own lead board. But first, let's talk about what a lead board is. Stay tuned for more lead board action. Well, some of you might know what a lead board is, and some of you might get it confused with a center board or a dagger board. Basically, a lead board is deployed on the lee side of the boat. As the wind pushes it, it offers resistance so the boat won't slide sideways. Okay, so let's get underway. We have the wind currently on the starboard bow about 0.45. That's the windward side. The leeward side is the opposite side. We're trying to sail our boat to a designated point. We have the wind on the starboard side. We have our intended course and where we want to go. And you can see how the dag board is still up. As the wind fills our sails, we want to go to our intended course. But what happens is the boat slides sideways. It crabs off to the lee. Which makes our course made good to the lee side of the intended course. Now when we deploy our lee board, we have offered line of resistance. We set up our tented course, our lee board is deployed. The boat is still going to slide sideways some bit, but a lot less effect. Therefore, our course made good is closer to our intended course. Lee board up, lee board down. The lee board. Okay, let's build this thing. Okay, to start with, I want the lee boards about one third of the way down from the boat, from the bow. So that puts it right about where this uh, thwart was. So what I have is this nice piece of walnut that I cut, little recesses in here as it sets on the thwart, the shoulders of it will set right over the gunnel like that. Cut the shoulders. This hole matches what's in the thwart. It sets right in. This part here will set on the gunnel. And here's the shouldered quarter 20 threaded inserts. So as it pulls down, it, it's got a shoulder on the side and it'll stop. Hold it down, I use these toggle bolts that will come up through the bottom side, through that threaded shouldered nylock, and that will hold it in there in place. You might want to choose to use clamps, something a little bit less permanent, but uh, this is what I went with. On the other end, I have a quarter 20 uh, threaded inserts. And this is what they look like. And as it's tightened down, it will pull that cone up and towards it and lock it in place. So, $5 at a yard sale flea market, I got a set of uh, oars, chopped them off, and I had some uh, grip here, that's all. That goes down through this hole. It's going to be the pivot hole on the thwart. This little block of piece of wood is just a little shoulder that will rust on the gunnel. Okay, the pivot for the lee board are going to be these cam bolts. Quarter 20, nylon washers. They're a bit custom made. I took a stainless steel uh, carriage bolt and cut the end off four inch and to match up with these little plug, the little plug. And it works for a quick release. You can see how the cam will lock it in place. So take the cam bolt, nylon, washer, through the pivot. That's what makes it up right here, real simple. Release, flip up, lock. 
So take our pivot, seat that all the way in. Nylon washer. Lee board. Washer. Now once you have all this together, you can just leave it together and lock it. So you can see how the lee board sits and how this little wood wedge just makes it fit nice tightly to the hull. So when I clamp it, I got a nice firm position. And as the water's flowing across, it's actually pushing against the hull and keeping it in place. A simple unlock, this little piece will stress up above the gunnel and you lock it in place. You can see here the lead board is resting against the gunnel, resting on there, unlock down and it's locked again. Remember, when building a lead board setup, you'll need two of them, one for the port and one for the starboard side. Make sure you have a strong cross brace and a strong pivot point. Allow the lead board to rest against the hull to reduce stress. Hey, I'm just trying to pass on to you what I learned while building my celery canoe. I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you give me a thumbs up and like it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Talk about it. Watch it one more time. Removal is a pretty simple affair. Just loosen them. Undo the toggle bolts. And put it right back in the car and go. Hey, thanks for watching. How about a thumbs up if you liked the video? You can check out more on the Jimmy Brief channel. I have a video posted on how I converted my canoe into a sailing rig. Build your lead board system and get that boat on the water now.